Nozzle selection can also help us when it comes to controlling drift. There are many different types of nozzles on the market, but air inclusion nozzles have been specifically designed for drift reduction. They work by mixing spray solution with air. This creates large, coarser droplets which are less prone to drift. Flat fan nozzles produce droplets which range from 1 to 500 microns in size. The smaller of these droplets have high velocity when they exit the nozzle but slow within 10 centimeters of the exit because they have very little momentum. This makes them very susceptible to drift. They also carry such small amounts of spray solution that they offer very little efficacy benefit. Air induction nozzles, however, due to their large droplet size, have a much slower exit velocity but carry much greater momentum. Therefore, they are less susceptible to drift. Practically, in a field situation, the difference is very noticeable, especially when using 90% drift reducing nozzles. For a drift reducing nozzle to achieve its drift reduction rating, it needs to be operated at the correct boom height and pressure. This information can be found on the manufacturer's website. Setting the correct pressure to achieve the drift reduction rating is important. As can be seen, a drift reduction nozzle operated above its rating produces a much finer spray, which are more susceptible to drift. 